You know, for several seasons, the Atlanta Knights were the class of the IHL. They even brought in the great Mano Rayom as one of the first female pro goalies of all time to play on men's squads. And they eventually won the Turner Cup in 1994 with a beautiful regular season record of 45-22-14. and 14. And uh, with their, their goalie duo, duo of Jersey Bergeron and Mike Gre Greenlee, uh, they, uh, they worked it together and they had uh, 4 nothing sweeps in the Turner Cup uh, of the Milwaukee and the Gulls. And they made it to the, the finals uh, and uh, took, it, took it all away. Now, uh, Greenlee's brilliant play continued throughout the tournament with a not minor posting and eye popping 11 1 record, 2.32 goals against average, and a 9 10 save percentage in 13 games. Now, the, uh, they defeated the uh, Fort Wayne Comets four games to two in the final. Now, unfortunately, the Knights were getting into financial problems and uh, it was eventually decided. Uh, to re relocate the franchise to Quebec. Now the Rafales or Rafales, which means in French Gus de Win or the Quebec Gus of Win, uh, took residence at the Colisée de Quebec. Now what was interesting here, the Quebec Nordiques had just moved uh, recently to become the Colorado Avalanche and of course the Colisée is the home rink for the uh, vaunted Quebec Rampires of the Quebec Major Junior Hockey League. Now the team drew well in 96-97 under head coach and former manager Jean Parvo after the, the Nordiques again departed Quebec City for Denver. Now, unfortunately after that success, they decided to trade some of the best players uh, in the, not for 98, including goaltender Stefan Beauregard, and the team didn't reach the postseason. The owners of the squad did not realize the expected profit and folded the squad and after, uh, after only uh, two seasons in Quebec. Now, a lot of uh, former NHLers, future out of uh, future NHLers, had played with the team, and uh, uh, one that really stood out for a lot of people was uh, Steve LaRouche. Now, Steve LaRouche had uh, been a uh, a prospect in the Franklin Canadiens system for a number of years, uh, true Montreal, a number two draft pick. Finally, broke into the NHL with Ottawa in '95 with eight goals in 18 games. Now he also played with the Prince Edward Island Senators, the Rangers and the Kings. But when he showed up in Quebec, he put up dynamite numbers first season. He had 102 points in 79 games, including 49 goals. Now, when I say that the team was uh, head coach was John Pronovo, Pronovo was still uh, a free-willing style to the squad. Now, Jason Ruff had a big uh, season uh, that first year with 85 points, including 50 assists in 80 games. And other... Uh, and alumni of the NHL, Jesse Belanger, Dan Rutushny, Bob Sweeney, Gaetan Duchesne, the very rugged Mario Roberge, Alain Cogote, Chris uh, Contos, General Metropolit, Serge Roberge, another big year, a year for year, the, the Roberge brothers, 273 minutes in penalties, uh, Darcy Warenka was there, Patrick Lebrecht, even the Wayne Gretzky's brother Brent was on uh, the team for one game. But that year, Stefan Beauregard was the big in that first campaign with a 35, 20, and 11, uh, 11 record. Now, the uh, second season for Quebec, again, uh, I think what really hurt them, there wasn't really uh, a consistent TV contract or even radio contract. I don't remember their games being showing very often. Now that year, Francois Bouillon was also in the lineup, and uh, uh, Bobby House, Ritishny was back, Jean-François jean which was a very great uh, prospect, uh, Donald Dufresne played 15 games that year, the Stanley Cup winner, Serge Roberge was back, of course, and uh, Gaetan Chusain for three games. Now that year, Tom Draper... Pat Jablonski and Frederick de Duchesne, de Jerry Duties, Draper again, 15, 22, and 4 record. But again, most of their top players were traded that year. But a lot of people don't remember uh, Tom Draper. He was uh, a big University of Vermont uh, star before uh, going on to play for Winnipeg, then Buffalo, then the Islanders, Winnipeg again. But he's put over two decades in as a goalie. Uh, and for an eight round pick, he did well. But 
the uh, it wasn't the same, you know, pro hockey being back in Quebec. It wasn't NHL. It wasn't AHL. And uh, it's too bad because, again, the fan base could have been built up. A John Bronneville was a was a, a great selection for that uh, first season as head coach because he was very well respected. But as you as you know, you're only good as your first season in any pro league, and they should have been building on that. And he should have got another marquee player, maybe a you know a 25 year old veteran of the NHL or AHL to come in a hometown hero. And LaRouche was a hometown hero, but only uh, a few uh, uh, key NHL Quebec players can only do so much because there was a lot of competition back there, AHL and you know uh, uh, NHL and the Montreal Canadiens too as well. But uh, anyway, it's too bad. But maybe maybe pro hockey will come back in Quebec. We're hoping a Nordiques franchise of some sort, preferably the NHL. But uh, Quebec, what a lot of people uh, like about Quebec, wasn't really the team. Just the logo looked like a combination of uh, uh, like uh, Evil Jack Frost and Santa. If you see by the, the, the uh, logo, it's quite impressive anyway. Uh, one of the better logos in, major, in minor pro history. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's the story to be Quebec and Rafales. If you'd like to uh, give me a like, comment, or subscribe, we'll appreciate it. As we like to say, keep your stick in the eyes. Bye.